All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, we all know that the biggest problem in Nigeria for the past 11 years has been the problem of insecurity. This problem has crippled every part of our country's economy, and the most hit region has been the Northwest region. This is the region where bandits collect levies from farmers before they are allowed to go to their farms. And we have been saying for years that the APC chiefs and northern elites should be held responsible for the level of insecurity that this country has been suffering since 2014. But some Nigerians still don't believe us. But the issue of insecurity has now thrown the APC into chaos. Northwest governors and elders organized a peace and security summit and they invited Tinubu and to their utmost shock, Tinubu refused to attend. He is in Nigeria, he is not sick, he doesn't have any serious engagement in any other state, but he refused to attend the Northwest Security Summit. Instead, he sent Shetima to represent him. And in his speech which Shetima presented, Tinubu claimed to have done his best. He said he has dismantled the criminal network of insecurity. And when it was the turn of the Sultan of Sokoto to speak, the Sultan stood up and began to counter the things that were read out of Tinubu's speech. He said, the many plans of the government to end insecurity have all failed. He said, as a matter of fact, with the level of insecurity in Nigeria now, it will take decades for us to make headway. He said, it will take decades to reduce the problem of insecurity in Nigeria. Before I show you this back and forth, and how Nigerians reacted. Let me quickly show you this update. You know, when we say that we are in a very serious situation, some people don't still get it. When we say that the economy is crumbling, some people will think we are joking. Look at this update. ShopRite Mall closes operation in heart of Abuja, cites financial condition, business, climate, reporters. Retail Supermarkets Nigeria Limited Owners of Novara Wuse Central Mall, known as ShopRite, based in Abuja, has announced its plan to close the mall. This was announced by Dr. Fola Kemi Fadaunsi, the organization's chief executive officer, saying he took the decision after evaluating Nigerian business climate and financial conditions. This decision has been made after thorough examination of the store's financial situation and current business climate. We believe this is the best course of action in our organization's long-term growth. If your services are specific tied to the Novel Wuse Central Mall store and if there is an outstanding balance between our companies, we will carefully review our accounting records over the next 60 days. We will then promptly contact you to confirm the amount owed and discuss a suitable payment schedule. The statement read, in part. Effective from June 30, our company will no longer operate in Wuse, Abuja, and we will no longer require your services at the November Mall, Wuse, Abuja. Please note that all existing service contracts will also terminate for the store, the statement noted further. It is also noted that all service contracts will be terminated. Different companies have left Nigeria recently, citing economic concerns and business climate. Now, this is happening in the heart of Abuja, the federal capital territory of Nigeria, where people ought to at least have decent level of purchasing power. ShopRite is folding up in the heart of Abuja. Imagine what will be happening in the outskirts. Imagine what will be happening in the states around Nigeria. These guys, APC, have crippled the economy of this country. And this is just the beginning. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet by Olami Lekon says, Wike will replace it with Mama Put. Mekuna, no worry. Of course. Whenever things happen like this, they will always come up with stupid excuses. You say that they cannot compete. That's why foreign companies are leaving because they can't compete. Companies that have been in Nigeria for decades two, three decades, suddenly they can't compete under Tinubu. And this tweet here says, they think we are still joking. Nigeria is a failed country as things are going. You can never give what you don't have. Tinubu will crumble this country to her knees unless he is stopped. I'm telling you, 
And this tweet by Feme here says, I have just one question to ask the Agbado boys. What signal will this kind of news and many more like this send to prospective investors your favorite promise to bring into Nigeria? Isn't this a sign of a dying economy? Of course it is. And Sir Amor says, when the righteous lead, the people rejoice. And when the unrighteous and evil people as Tinubu lead, the people mourn. Soro. Mm. And Topper here says, Omo, these things where they look like play is a bad thing for Nigeria. Imagine international companies folding up. What is the hope of small businesses? May God help us. Look around you. I can't count the number of small businesses that have folded up before my eyes. You know, the local stores around, you see them, you see the stock reducing. As you keep visiting them, you see them going out of stock until they completely run out of stock. The APC is a disaster. Point blank, period. Now, let us look at that back and forth between Tinubu as represented by Shetima and the Sultan of Sokoto. First of all, let's look at that speech by Tinubu and then we'll see the response of the Sultan of Sokoto in a video. In security, we have disrupted and dismantled criminal networks. Tinubu. Tinubu said this at the Northwest Peace and Security Summit organized by the Northwest Governors Forum in Katsina, the capital of Katsina State on Monday. Represented by Kashim Shetima, Tinubu assured Nigerians that the progress made so far is just the beginning as the government is making more effort to provide a better secure environment for all citizens. Our military forces, through various operations such as Operation Harding Kai and Operation Safe Heaven, have made true their promise to the nation by targeting Boko Haram and bandits who have held for too long. Through enhanced border security and intelligence capabilities, we have disrupted and dismantled criminal networks. Each of you here is aware of the high-profile figureheads of these groups neutralized by our forces and i'm here to share with you that this is just the beginning he said now that was tinubu suggesting in his speech that a lot of work had been done on insecurity and that a lot of success had been achieved in that area but when the sultan of sokoto stepped up to speak he all but said you are a liar he downplayed the efforts of government on insecurity since 2014 including tinubu regime he said, it is easy to talk about insecurity in a beautiful hall. Then he said, we need to begin to tell ourselves the truth that with the level it has come to, it will take us decades to make headway. See the video. As well as the consequences of the insecurity in this part of the country, for the last one decade or so, reports after reports, conferences after conferences, consultations after consultations, and of course, recommendations after recommendations, still the problem persists. Why? It's time to ask the question, why are things still in the state they are today, despite the tons of money spent on a procuring equipment for the services and also for the well-being of the personnel and also what the governors have been doing to bring to an end this insecurity. I'd like to thank UNDP and other United Nations agencies and the German government for supporting this conference in this beautiful hall, very conducive to talk about issues of insecurity. But the real issues are talked outside the hall, where the people live, in the villages, in the towns, and in the markets. No matter how much support you give us, if we are not ready and willing to end these crime, these criminal activities, we can't succeed. We will be the ones to work for this and end these problems if we so desire. I think it's important for us to tell ourselves the home truth because we must tell ourselves the home truth. What we must do to challenge these bandits because we all know the consequences of this banditry and insurgency on the morale and on our lives. Because it will take decades to get out of it, if at all we get out of it. You heard that. Strong words. Strong, strong words from the Sultan of Sokoto. 
he said they needed to begin telling themselves the truth. So APC chiefs should begin telling themselves the truth. The time for beautiful speeches in beautiful hall is over. Those who imported militias into Nigeria to fight Jonathan and have now lost control should step forward. Whether you are a former president, a former governor, or a current VP, step forward. And the Sultan should also tell us what he knows. Why would it take decades to end insecurity in Nigeria? And he even put a clause. He said, if at all, we end it. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here by Mayor of Benin says, the Sultan should be arrested. The same person that invited a terrorist sponsor to Nigeria. He is a sympathizer to terrorists. Mm. And Rebel here says, who created the banditry? Of course, you guys, especially Buhari, in his desperate move to rule by all means. And Aye Mojuba says, with a compassionate and determined leader, it wouldn't take more than four years to end banditry in Nigeria. The bandits and terrorists in Nigeria have been driven to this lifestyle for a reason. Address the root cause and you will solve the problem. And Josh here says, he should stop pandering and tell the truth. They brought those bandits here. They hoped to weaponize them. They criticized those who opposed them. They called them armies and defenders of Islam. They said they had rights to defend headers, dishonest leaders. Mm. And this tweet by Joseph says, To think this man was a military general and still talks like this, I doubt his integrity. And better than Jaffa for all says, Sultan, what's your reason? Does it mean you know something about it and you as a Sultan is keeping quiet, sir? Well, anybody associated with the APC cannot be trusted. But it's a good thing that the APC is divided against itself on this issue of insecurity. I hope that this division will continue. Because I can see clearly today, Shea Usani was saying that northern politicians are already, you know, forming a carcass that they are gathering and they are working towards pushing Tinubu out of power. That is going to totally dissolve the APC and believe me, that is what Nigeria needs. Because as long as these guys continue in power, this country will never be free. And that is why I always keep advocating that Nigerians must unite and kick them out so that we can gain our freedom. But until then, make I still enter town. <laughs> make I go get some Ogbonge political news where I go like. Why? Because now, because of now. Now I day here, so don't go away. <laughs>